your lips are moving and you're complaining about something, that's whinging. Hey, dude, Game of Thrones is about to start. You ready? Just a second, Doug. I think I'm ready now. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And no doubt, unless you've been living under a rock, you've seen Game of Thrones. I hope, because it's really good. And if you have been watching, you'll have noticed that there is a really cool flaming sword effect. And thanks to Zach at CG Visuals, we're going to do that this week. My god. So in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot yourself with a sword or a stick or anything that's long and hard. Whoa, what? You also need to click the link in the description that'll take you to the CG Visuals channel to download the project file. And you'll also need a copy of Trap Code Particular. Otherwise, this ain't going to work. But that's it, so let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects and I've got my footage set up in a comp and ready to go. Now basically what I've done is trim my clip to the point where my sword is catching fire right here, or I'm going to have it catch fire right here. I'll then render this out when I'm done and integrate this shot back into my edit in Premiere Pro or just use Dynamic Link. I recommend rendering it out because Dynamic Link is going to take a while to render if this is linked with Premiere Pro. Now, onto the effect. And this one is pretty easy, gang, thanks to Zach at CG Visuals. So our first step here is to isolate the sword blade. And the easiest way to do that is with Mocha. So I'm just going to select that clip, head to Effect, Boris Effects, and grab Mocha AE, and of course, launch that song, bitch. Okay, now we're in Mocha, we want to grab the x spline tool and draw a mask all the way around our blade here. Now since this is a pretty simple shape, it shouldn't take too long. Now I've got this skull down here at the bottom, so I've got to deal with that. Done. We'll now set the pixel percentage to 90%, turn off shear, and then we're going to hit the track forward button. And it's done. Now gang, it's at this point that you want to review your track and just make any adjustments if you need to. My mask has drifted off here a little bit, so I'm just going to fix that up with a couple of keyframes. Excellent. We can now name our layer if we like save this and head back to After Effects. And we're back. So in order to isolate our sword, we simply tick Apply Mat and BAM. You can now see that our sword is all on its lonesome. Now just like with our Human Torch effect last week, we need this mat to be a solid white. So let's head to Effect, Generate and grab Fill and let's set that to white. Done. Animated mask baby, oh yeah. Now gang, since we're working with fire and trap code particular, I want to aid my render time a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and render out this animated mask and then import it back in. To do that, we'll hit Control M to add it to the render queue. We'll then head to lossless, select quick time, and then make sure you set it to RGB plus alpha. That way we have a defined alpha channel. We'll then hit render and import it back in. Done. Let's now open up the comp layer marked Layer Emitter and drop our newly minted footage on top and turn off the reference still. Okay, let's now head to our original footage layer and turn off the effects. We can now copy that and head to the final comp and paste it in right here where it says Place Footage Here. If we do a quick preview, you can see it's already working pretty well on the default settings. But if we did want to tweak some things, I can recommend a couple of settings you might want to play with. One is the choke flame slider. Basically, this stops the flames from overwhelming your shot. The fire turbulence scale controls how violently turbulence affects your flames. Flame Licks controls the amount of fractal influence over your blade, and trust me when I say that this setting is perfect. You don't want to mess with it. Now if you do want to get more in-depth 
and say you want the flames to move faster or you want them to be bigger or smaller, we need to come down to the fire layer itself. This one contains trap code particular. This one right here. And we're gonna collapse down the physics settings. It's in here that you can change the gravity. So if you want the flames to move up faster, you can increase the number from say minus 250 to minus 400 and you will see a difference. Now the other thing you might wanna do that I just mentioned is if you're like me and you change from a medium shot to a close up is increase the particle size, which will increase the volume of your flames, which is super easy. You just head up to particle and increase the size to one that is a bit closer to your liking. See, easy. Now the other set of controls is within the final comp and they mostly work with the glow properties and the exposure. Now me personally, I didn't mess with any of these at all because I was happy with the final look. But by all means, gang, have a play with them, see what they do, and see what you can make them do. The only other cherry I added on top, guys, and it's not even present in the effect in Game of Thrones, I just liked it, that was adding some fire embers casting off the sword. And this was as simple as just adding an instance of fire ember stock footage from Action VFX and setting the transfer mode to add. And I also put a little bit of a mask around it so that it only emitted from the blade. Now, one other cherry on top that I almost forgot to mention, guys, is a light fall off adjustment layer. So you can see that in the final shot when my sword lights up, you can also see my face, my hands, and bits of my bathrobe there light up like they're being illuminated by the light which is very, very easy to do. All you do is just add an adjustment layer, mask around the areas that you want to light up. So in my case, I'm just lighting my face, my hands, and as I mentioned, the bathrobe. And from there, all I did was add an instance of Colorista, increase the exposure a little bit, increase the highlights, and tint them an orange color. And from there, and I've done this a thousand times before, guys, all I did was bring the opacity down to zero, hit the stopwatch, and then animate the opacity to go up as the sword lit up. Now, I know this episode was short, guys, but that's actually it. That's how easy it is to light a sword on fire using CG Visual's awesome project file. And that, my friends, is another effect done. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Hey dude, Game of Thrones is about to start. You ready? Just a second, Doug. I think I'm ready now. So guys, that's mine and Zach from CG Visual's take on the flaming sword effect from Game of Thrones. I'd say the name of the character that it belongs to, but I'm probably just gonna butcher it, so I'll just put it on screen right here. And just in case you guys were interested, that awesome Game of Thrones title that you saw at the start of the episode was actually done by a very talented fellow called Wes Marsh. And the crazy thing is, he actually remade the entire title sequence in Element 3D and After Effects, and it's free for you to download. So if you click the card above, or you click the link in the description, you can go straight there and download it for yourself. Oh, and make sure you let him know that Grant sent you. But for now guys, that's all I got for you. So if you did enjoy the video, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it and it does help it. And leave a comment below if you do have an effects request because I read them all. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn those notifications on so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got Twitter episodes right over here and my social media crap here as well as my Patreon if you want to help support the channel or if you want to support directly on YouTube, just click that join button below. And until I see you again guys, keep learning.